Hi, this is a, uh, a member of the Startles for Beginners and Users group on Facebook, um, the Dumbbell Nebula, which I'm going to make a video of processing. So I'm going to start by opening it with the second, the second option is Bayed. Now I'm going to bin 50% because it's a fairly noisy image. Um, binning 50% will make the noise much easier to deal with. Next we're going to uh, do a auto develop to see if there's any stacking artifacts. Overlapping flame frames. Um, by the look of it, it's not had flat flame, flat frames added. So we'll um, start by cropping just a, a bit off the edge in case there is any overlapping frames. And because there's big net in, in the image, we're going to wipe using big net in. Uh, raise this up to 80. Dark anomaly is up to 8. And temporary auto develop. <clears throat> That's better. We've still got a, uh, a ring there from the telescope, uh, but that's okay at the moment. We'll deal with that further down the line. Now we need to develop the image if we do a global stretch. I, I normally do a manual develop, drop the gamma to 90 or 0.9, I should say, and bring up the dark anomaly filter to around about 16. I do this on most of my images and then develop this one seems to be good around about 91 and a bit so we'll keep that for now I mean the background's very red but that's not a problem we can deal with that what we're going to do now is make a star mask uh, so if we go to masks choose auto and stars the filter sensitivity will um, if I leave this low as it is and press do you'll see we're going to get a load of noise plus the stars and it will be pretty much a green out full mask it's no good so the filter sensitivity will filter out the noise um, so if we try 25 and do, it's better. We've still got some little bits of noise. Uh, so we'll try a shrink and a grow. That's pretty good. So now we'll try and capture the big stars. I'm going to go fat stars here. We need to add new to old. Bring up the filter sensitivity to about 10 and try that. Well, it's got them, but it's not quite a full mask on the star, so I'm going to use blood blue light of pixels and click on the edge of the star and that will fill out the whole of the star on any of its mist. It can be a bit tedious at times but it's worth getting a good star mask. Um, once we've got our mask we'll save it and so we can open it and reuse it anytime we like through the processing of this image. <clears throat> Couple 
Ну. Looks like we've got all our, our uh, stars there. So now I'm going to save that as just a mask so I can do uh, whatever it was. Um, now I'm also going to put a nebula mask on quite easy with the dumbbell. Choose lasso and lasso around the nebula as carefully as we can. Okay, keep that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use life and I'm going to isolate. Um, isolate is going to what's masked is going to save and what's not masked is going to reduce and the strength is usually quite powerful um, so we need to sort of reduce the strength of this to What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to grow the mask once for this, and then I'm going to put a mask fuzz of two pixels. That out. It looks okay. Now I'm going to invert this mask, and um, this is one of my favourite tools on the filter module. There's a reject option. Now what this will do is anything that is masked, it will reject in the mask, but save anything outside of the mask. So when you zoom in, we can see we've got a lot of red blue, green in the background. So if we click on one of them particular pixels, the brightest ones, it will reduce them. So we do a bit of red, blue and green on each one. <coughs> That's looking better. Keep. There's a little bit of banding, so I'm going to use the band and horizontal and do Canon cameras are notorious for the banding but there's plenty of things to deal with the banding so we live with it there's a subtle difference there keep that now I'm going to put it through the color module I'm going to fill the mask so we want the whole thing I like to use um, artistic detail where you need to use it up the saturation amount by a fair bit a lot of the time with this when you change to artistic detail where play our sliders um, dark saturation if you've got a, a lot of nebula you'll up this to brighten the nebula if you've got known, you know, like a, a small nebula, we can reduce that. It's basically the background. It looks a bit red, so I'm going to bring that up a bit. <clears throat> so we've got a nice dark background now. Nice colour in the stars and good colour on the nebula. So I'm going to HDR now, uh, reveal all which is the default setting can be, it can introduce noise on some images. Which it is doing here really. So 
so we'll try optimize. Even that uh, before we've got a bit of hydrogen gas there. After optimizing it, they were losing that, so we're going to not do anything in HDR. Contrast, hopefully, uh, that probably get rid of the last of the telescope artifact. It has probably can't see it on video, but there's a horseshoe shape here at the moment after that's reduced that right down to nothing. So that's got rid of the vignetting completely. Now I'm going to try just a moderate in life. This worked well. If you want to reduce the strength here, you normally bring it up and to increase the strength. I don't know why bring it down. Uh, if you want to catch more colour you lower this, if you want to catch less then you'll raise that. <coughs> so we've done pretty much everything in there I want to do for now. Um, deconvolution works on large nebula, it doesn't really work on galaxies it doesn't make much of a difference. You would do that before the colour module anyway. It's pretty much straight after wipe. You put that through deconvolution. So now I'm going to stop tracking and do the final noise redu reduction. Don't worry about the how fuzzy it gets here. The grain size. Um, I put most of mine up to 18 to 20. Uh, basically what you want to get rid of is the big clumps of grain you can see. So here we can see no grain at all now. Uh, you can adjust this back on the next part anyway. So now we click next and wait. Okay, so with this here what we're going to do is we're going to select a little part. A bit of dark, a bit of the nebula and so it renders quicker the smoothness bit here is at the point where it goes ultra smooth and that tends to be around about 78 percent it makes a big difference i normally bump mine up to 80 percent so i just sort of stick with that and uh, smoothed out nice the stars are still quite sharp uh, we're not losing any color in the stars so we're going to do full and keep that okay keep <clears throat> now we're going to sharpen we only want to sharpen the nebula we never want to sharpen stars sharpen stars look quite nasty so you can either use a a star mask and invert it so you haven't got the stars if you've got a lot of nebula a lot of galaxy um, but on this case we've got a little bit we want to sharpen so we're going to go just go to the mask and clear and we're going to lasso once again our dumbbell nebula You could invert it and then with front fill you can attempt to mask the stars in the nebula if you want. But we're going to invert that so we've got our nebula masked and we're going to go to sharpen on large click next.
sometimes this can be aggressive sometimes it can't sometimes you need to bump it up a couple of hundred percent but 99% of the time you'll need to drop it um, it's too much so I, I'd say 50% It's much better, a little bit of a subtle difference. We're going to do that again, but on here this time we're going to go medium and next. You'd go small sometimes, depending on how, um, how much detail you've got. I'll draw it to Try seventy percent. That's good. It's starting to show up the edges a bit better around here. The bit of gas coming in here is a little bit better. We'll keep that, and that's pretty much it. You can work on more on other things. Um, you can simply now um, just raise the saturation of it if you wanted to quite simple to do these sort of things now without changing any color although it has changed the colors there it's a little bit more saturated stars are too but a little bit too much i'd say i'd say go down to 25 So I hope this has helped in some way. Um, any questions? You know where I am. <laughs>